Well, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I just want to report on this. I've just come from uh, watching uh, Margot's latest uh, video, and I just want to kind of distill this down to look at the most important things. And I, I must admit, I haven't been this kind of anxious about things in the Arctic, uh, especially as it relates to uh, methane uh, since 2018 when Margo and I identified there was a huge uptick in methane emissions uh, over that year and then at the end of the year CAMS uh, changed their colour code so that you've got all that lovely green now doesn't green look lovely except until you realise that what you're looking at um, actually refers to something that's about 2,000 uh, parts per billion. Um, the average that we were talking about uh, in the last year or so, average emissions was 17 to 1,800 uh, parts per billion. So this is absolutely huge. And then you see this, uh, this red which is, oh yeah, somewhere between 2,000, 2,100 uh, parts per billion, and it's fanning over um, from uh, the north of Siberia, Severnaya Zemlya, that's Norway Zemlya here, and you go, look at it, look at it. Uh, so that may seem to be quite insignificant when one looks at the large amounts of methane coming up uh, around the world, uh, North America, China, India, but uh, what is this a portent of? So uh, I'm just going to go on and just uh, show a few things randomly. Okay. I want to move on to sea ice uh, thickness. Uh, the US Navy site uh, is the one that I usually use. And this certainly paints a picture. This is as of today. Uh, well, actually, uh, yeah, the 2nd. Uh, 2nd of July. Uh, so you can see that all the uh, thicker ice, this is between 2 and 2.5 and metres, is to the north of Canada and Greenland, between there and the, um, and the, and the North Pole. But just look how it's all disappeared from 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 here, the um, the Kara Sea and and, and and so forth, and it's thinning. All of this here is about 0.5 of a meter. It's just a little bit more here above the um, uh, eastern Siberia, and look how it's all. Uh, thinning in the in, in, in the Beaufort Sea. So really, all of this is going to go, I think, um, uh, and all you're going to be left with is 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 this, unless there's a major turnaround in the conditions. So let's just, I just want to uh, go on to this. Now this is uh, shows the last month, and it goes into a. Uh, a forecast uh, period. So this is how it looks over the last over 30 days. So um, it would be hard to say that that's not a major and rapid melt. Um, so I suggest you go to uh, uh, to Margot for further analysis of this, but it paints a very very dire picture. And this here is at the end of the forecast period. So I don't, let's just yeah okay. So I just want to go on and just uh, show some other things. Uh, rapid fire uh, and perhaps taking uh, some other. Uh, data sets. Okay, I just want to go on and uh, <coughs> show a, a few uh, 
slides that are indicative. So I'm just going to go through straight through to uh, uh, sharing the, the um, slides. Okay, so uh, this slide is from uh, Zach Lee on uh, on Twitter. Uh, he's uh, illustrating these are all the previous years. This is the Siberian Arctic as it is today. And again, this is another view. This just shows the uh, the various levels of Siberian sea ice over the years. Um, it has gone down quite a bit, just on an individual basis. Uh, yeah, 1989 is an interesting one, but 2020 by far. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, now, <coughs> I'm just coming back to this for a moment. Uh, this is the methane. Uh, There's a huge levels of methane, uh, well above 2,000 parts per billion. Uh, coming out and uh, going over the North Pole. So I showed that in the, in the movie. And this is a world view and it shows other areas where methane is coming up. Uh, it's not quite at the level coming up in places, you know, other places in the world, uh, you know, China and India and so forth, and even Scandinavia. Uh, but this is the first indication, really, um, of this happening in an area where there's massive melting of ice. And as we've seen, there's never been such melting of the ice in that area of the world. <coughs> and this just shows what we're looking at. Um, you can't really see it because of the massive amounts of cloud. But look at this, just a huge, huge area. And this is even more indicative. Uh, this is, uh, I think, Svalbard here. This is Norway and Zemlya. So this area, uh, it's not always clear in the satellite pictures, but it's totally free of ice. There's this huge area here that's free of ice. And then there's this big hole in the ice uh, that's appearing here, and this is disappearing very, very quickly, as is, you can see the Beaufort Sea and other areas in the main Arctic Basin. Uh, now, these temperatures, I don't think that I've ever seen temperatures quite like this in the Arctic. These are uh, two meter temperatures. Um, and they show the temperatures in the Arctic Basin as all being above zero. Uh, the only cold area is in the interior of, of, of Greenland. Uh, I found a site which shows the, um, the forecast uh, for the North Pole that comes out of Norway, and the temperatures shown there are between positive one and positive two degrees uh, Celsius. Of course, the air temperature is only one thing. Uh, so here we are. That's again the, the, um, the temperature anomalies. So you can show these these temperature anomalies in the Arctic, and then this huge uh, um, temperature anomalies in this part of Siberia. This is where the uh, where the uh, methane has been going up. And this area where the fires are has, has calmed down a little bit. And uh, this is uh, the thing I like to go to for sea ice uh, concentration, which is indicative. You've got to look at the extent, you've got to look at the uh, concentration and, you, uh, 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 and the thickness. So you get a sea ice and then you get a sea ice volume that really tells you. And uh, uh, this is just going back to the sea ice extent. Um, I'm not sure which day this is. I, I just took this as a slide. 
Uh, so, and this is interesting uh, because this shows a lot of rain in the uh, in the Arctic. Um, so you can see all this area around above the C Canadian archipelago, off the coast of Greenland, off the coast of eastern Siberia. Uh, and uh, oh, I think this is raining in Svalbard. So there's nothing more uh, corrosive to the ice than rain. So that's coming. So we've got quite high temperatures relatively. And we've got rain uh, from the top. And then from the bottom, we've got this. So um, these are, these, this, this is the, uh, the warmer weather. I haven't got the actual temperature uh, here on here. It doesn't show it, but this warm sea is, uh, degrading the ice from underneath. And this has been happening over the years that Nago and I have been, um, have been looking at this. So I would say, um, you know, that's, that's, that's been a constant, but now we've got uh, climatic conditions as well. So it's going, it seems to me um, that it's going from the top and it's going from the bottom. So, We'll just have to see what happens in the next couple of months uh, in terms of uh, weather conditions, whether it's going to continue as it is or whether it's going to sort of slow down uh, towards the end of summer. Uh, that remains to be seen. Okay, so that's enough for me. I think that's Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.